welcome to the first episode of Mini Manticore Island, a new weekly building series on the channel for Jurassic World Evolution 2. In which we will be building an original park, but taking inspiration from Camp Cretaceous' Manticore Island, incorporating vastly different biomes in one build. Hi, hello, <laughs> I've been away for a little bit caring for a very sick rabbit. He's doing better now, and thank you very much for all of the kind messages. Unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm is going to punish me for my absence because it has the attention span of a goldfish, relatable. So to help me and the video, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and perhaps go down to the comments and pin a, a wee testimony. I could get back on schedule. Uh, schedule. The episode is going to start with a bit of a speed build so I can create the island shape because apparently I can't do this and talk at the same time. Trust me. But after this, we'll get into real-time building, and that's how the series is going to continue in future episodes. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to be sure that you're not going to miss out on an episode. And speaking of subscribing to the channel, while I was away, um, you guys got the channel to 190,000 subscribers. So thank you. <laughs> that was really nice to, uh, to see happen. Uh, thank you so much for all of the continued support. You guys are amazing. Anyway, let's get to talking about the actual build, which is kind of what I do. Uh, I'm using the tried and trusted grid technique to recreate the island shape really easily, one grid at a time. Uh, I've done a tutorial on how to make such a grid and how to make the reference image with a matching grid so you can recreate any island shape yourself, no matter how complicated. And I will link that tutorial at the end of this video if you are interested. Uh, but yeah, I just have my reference image on my second monitor and I'm copying the coastline of the island one square at a time. Now this was actually um, quite a bit harder to do than Mini Nublar. Manticore, like Manticore Island, has a lot of, let's say, fiddly bits. That's a technical term. It has fiddly bits, especially on the northern coastline, which were a lot more difficult to draw than the shape of Nublar, which has a fairly uncluttered coastline in comparison. But again, thanks to the grid technique, it's not actually that difficult. It was just a little bit more time consuming than, uh, than mini Nublar. As I continue to draw, allow me to give you a little bit of an update about my absence and about Bo. For those who don't know, Bo is my rabbit. <laughs> he is the main um, mastermind behind the channel. <laughs> uh, unfortunately though, he has chronic health issues and from time to time he falls ill. And that was the case about two weeks ago. And it was one of the most severe health scares that he's ever had. Um, like th this one cracked the top three for sure. It was really, really touch and go. Um, he was, um, yeah, it was not good. Um, but, you know, um, the vet put him on a lot of medications and a feeding schedule for, for me to maintain. I had to take care of him at home after they, they, they had him for one night to take him through the worst of it. And then, you know, it, it was up to me to continue that. And that meant that I had to give him medications throughout the day and I had to force feed him every two to three hours. And as you can imagine, that in combination with the stress and the worry just wasn't compatible with me upkeeping my upload schedule. As I said in my community post, uh, Bo deserves the best care that I can possibly give him and you deserve the best videos that I can possibly make and those two just could not coexist for the past almost two weeks and of course when having to make a decision between those two I have to prioritize him because you know he's He's my baby. He's my best friend. I love him. So, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been taking care of him um, By the way, if you're ever thinking to yourself uh, uh, where's Evo? Why isn't she uploading? Why isn't she live streaming? Check the community tab on my channel page. That will have the information. And for more frequent updates, you can also follow me on Twitter. 
<laughs> anyway, thankfully Bo is doing quite a bit better now. I don't have to feed him anymore. And we're down to four medications four times a day. So it's more manageable. I'm finally getting some sleep. Hallelujah. So it was time to get back to work. And I really have been looking forward to starting this new park building series. And I hope you are as well. Because... I had a lot of fun with Mini Nublar and it was very popular with you guys as well. So I hope we can just keep the magic going for Mini Madscore Island. Just like, just like with Mini Nublar, but please, I invite you to give suggestions in comments down below for what you would want to see in this park. So again, it can become like this collaborative, inspiring thing where, you know, we, we literally build on suggestions from each other. Just keep in mind though, that's same as Mini Nublar. The only thing I am recreating one-on-one -on -one is the island shape. The rest is not going to be a literal recreation because on this channel, we like creative freedom. Thank you very much. I will also 100% be honest about the fact that I'm not the biggest Camp Cretaceous fan. So I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, re-watching season three, episode four to recreate uh, the, the 14th scene of the episode. That's, that's not what this is gonna be. I like the concept, like the boiled down concept of Madscore Island with like these different biomes. And that's what I'm taking from it. And that's, that's the extent of it. I'm just being honest here, okay? Like, the idea is nice for a park build, uh, but I'm not gonna be rewatching the season or, or the five, six, how many were there? <laughs> Too many? <laughs> anyway, just being honest. Now, my reference image was cropped in a way that both far ends of the island were cut off. So I, I improvised those initially, but actually while I was editing this video, I found a full image of the island. So I was able to accurately correct the ends of the island so that it is true to the shape of the island from Camp Cretaceous. But really the main thing about Mini Manticore Island is not the shape, it is the different biomes that we will be making. Which is not something I do a lot within one park build because it is a bit unrealistic. Uh, but so is Camp Cretaceous. So I'm taking that and I'm running with it for for what I think is going to be a really different and exciting park build. Let's let's get to the real time segment of the video now. So our island shape is now done and obviously with like the shape of Manticore Island this really exaggerated elongated shape we've lost a lot of real estate on the map to the ocean on either side of it so I think we might be dealing with an island slightly smaller than Mini Nublar? Possibly? I think so. However, however, do not despair, because it is... It's bigger than you think, honestly. Let me for a second grab... Uh, I always forget where it is. I clicked on the wrong thing. That's brilliant. It's been a while. There, if you grab this, it's, it's not bad. We can make a decent park here. We can make a decent park. So the idea here is that we're going to split it in four different biomes. Now, there are five different biomes on Manticore Island, at least as far as this uh, this reference image shows. You know, one, two, three, four, five. But um, as I said, we're dealing with limited space here. And I really want to give each of the biomes plenty of space so we can do interesting stuff with it. So that's why I'm limiting my mini Manticore Island to four biomes so I can give each of the biomes a relatively decent amount of space. And how I want to achieve it um, is with a bit of a mountain range that's going to cut through. And that's going to separate it into, into four quadrants. I'm going to I'm gonna have to think about how to do this. Uh, I think it should just have like a midline. Uh, let me grab uh, a different texture just in case. There, we'll beef it up. And we'll take it from here to there. And let me... Oh, that's difficult to see. Oh, I can see it though. And then maybe about here... Um, let me think about this. <laughs> what's gonna be in? Cause I I also have to consider like what's gonna be a nice mountain shape, you know? 
but this, I, I mean, this island's gonna be fairly artificial looking anyway, so. But I think... If I take it from, like, here to here... You know, this is a really long section, but this is a nice beefy section right here, and then we'll do, we'll do the same like that. So grab this. Oh god, wrong one, wrong one, and take it to let's say to there. How does that? How does that look? Yeah, well, I'll probably err a little bit more to this side. Yeah, I really just. As you, as you might be able to tell, I really like using the terrain tools to sketch out a little bit and uh, get a good sense of what I'm actually going to be doing before I do anything, you know, before I muck it up. There. So I think that's going to be our mountain range. So let's get started on that. Now, I can't go too high with it because of the, uh, the limited amount of space, but I do want it to provide like a, a, a decent barrier between all of the different biomes. Cause you know, really when you are in one biome, you want to really feel like you're, you know, in that one biome. You don't want to be exposed to the other ones. So we're just gonna raise that up. Yeah, take it all the way to there. Now, initially, initially I planned on making, like, um, a thing in the center. I'm gonna play around with it, because I was attached to the idea, you know, put, like, a race platform in the middle and have the innovation center on top of there. I thought that would look pretty cool. However, seeing the Finnish island now, I am a little bit concerned about the size. That being said, Mini Nublar ended up um, still lagging quite a bit. <laughs> so maybe smaller is not necessarily bad. You know how I like to build parks. It's, uh, it's gonna get detailed. There, now I don't want it to be like a perfect straight line, so we're gonna... I'm gonna make it look a little bit more natural. Now the the mountain range is something that I feel that I should. Um, oh, I'm recording the audio twice. That's fine. <laughs> no, let's turn it off. There you go. <laughs> uh, the mountain range is something that I think I'm just gonna do the rough shape of it, and I'll 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 perfect the edges of it as we build around it. I don't want to lock myself in too much, you know, because obviously we are dealing with the same limitation uh, or restriction that we did with Mini Nublar in the sense that I won't allow myself to move the coastline. Obviously, we need to maintain that uh, Mini Manticore Island shape. Uh, but then to also force myself to not move the mountain range at all is, I think, really going to hamper hamper some builds that get close to the foot of the foot of the mountain, especially considering the terrain constraints in this game. You know, we might have to finagle it a little bit now and again. Yeah, do, do, do a nice little hump over here. Again, I can change it if need be. There. I mean, you know, nah, it's, uh, I'm, nah, it's not bad, I think. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and so when you're here, it's really going to feel just like one biome. And when you're over here, it's going to be like one biome. And how we're going to connect the two ends is with... Uh, with the Hyperloop system. Now, mm, okay. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I am going to play with the idea. Because also, I wanted like the entry point... To not be in one of the four biomes. I also wanted the entry point to be like... Oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. There's like there's like two philosophies to go by here. And, and I'm, I'm like struggling with choosing one or the other. I think having just the taller mountain at the center is going to make for a prettier island. However, and not unimportantly, I think having the innovation center and the entry point up here is gonna make for a prettier park. And at the end of the day, that do be what I build. That do be my job. <laughs> so I think 
I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's see. Let's see how the innovation center is gonna fit up here. But you know, it needs it needs an innovation center. It needs. Um, well, it doesn't need the innovation center. I want the innovation center. It needs an entry point, and the um, okay, and a hyperloop thing. Where's my hyperloop? Hold on. Let's just do it like that. So that's quite sizable. Hold on, let me let me put like the three buildings that I would technically want. Let me just chuck them on here. <laughs> it would it would fit. I can make that fit. So I think maybe on the narrow side over here, and maybe do a. No, I think I think I'm gonna stick with this entry point. Might as well just move it. There. Yeah, really, really tuck it in there. Yeah, I think I think I have to go that route. I really do think so. Okay, okay, yes, decisions made. Innovation center. Let's bring that bad boy back up here. Here, so like you arrive, and there's gonna be like a bit of a bit of a main street. Let's actually take the path out so I can see. Make sure that I'm going straight. There, so that will go like that. Nicely centered. And I think, actually, this one's super tall, so I think what I'm gonna do, yes, is use this one instead. Because it's 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 low profile. Which I think is gonna help. And I think what I wanna do is, um, I think that'll work for path connection. I think so. I hope so. That is the plan. Let's just try it. But this way, I have left like the surrounding area for stuff like viewing towers. You know, I love I love viewing towers on like elevated bits, so we can have like a nice perspective. And this way, yes, I'm I'm glad I did this. Okay, because yes, this way you get like that. God, I, I don't know, I don't know, but like almost like that sci-fi kind of feeling that you're looking out at vastly, vastly different biomes. So now what I have to do is decide which biome goes where. I think for snow, I think we'll do snow up here. Don't mess up the coast. So this is gonna be our like frosty area. And it's not gonna be like all snow, you know, I'm gonna chuck in trees as well. It's not gonna be like an actual empty wasteland like it was in the series. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be repeating this many times throughout the throughout the series as a whole. I'm not actually gonna be recreating the series or recreating like literal teeny tiny landscapes that we saw in the series. Um we're using the island as inspiration. And we're taking it from there. You know, we can, we, we're doing our own thing here. It's just for the inspiration. Uh, I think then this should be the redwood one. I'm just like laying it down so you can like visualize it. So that will be the redwood one. And then I think across from here, the smallest one would be just temperate forest. I'm using ginkgo for now, uh, but obviously we have like the individually placeable trees for that as well. And then this one is gonna be desert. And I think that from an aerial perspective, that's gonna give like a fun... Now, desert is difficult, <laughs> not gonna lie. Because um, this sand obviously isn't great. Oh, maybe this sand is better. Is this sand? It's better, it's not great, but it is better. So we'll do that. Desert is probably gonna be my least favorite biome though, so... Me using the biggest... One of the biggest spaces for it. Because this one's much smaller. But I don't want two forests next to each other. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll move... I'll literally mo just move the mountain. I can do that. I've given myself permission. So this will be our desert, and it'll have, you know, some of um, some of these plants. A couple of oases. Yeah, I think this one... We're gonna steal some space from that. 
What I might actually do is take the mountain range here. Really steal some space. Because I just think, you know, considering, like, uh, the actual biome that we're in, the Canadian biome, what is that? I think it's Alpitag? I don't know. <laughs> One of those two. Uh, I just think that desert is going to be the least fun to build. Um, so that's why I'm minimizing the desert space and maximizing what I think will be a fun biome to build, which is the... Um, the Temperate one. Now, Temperate has just become huge. Although, it's so elongated that I don't actually think it's that much bigger than uh, than this one right here. I think that's gonna be how we're gonna do it. Oh my god, the people have already gathered. There's literally nothing to do here. And just like what we did with Mini Nublar, I'm gonna build a little, like, worker island off to the side. Why do I always have to click on, like, the wrong thing 17 times before I actually hit the right thing? A little worker village. Again, I don't know what's going on. Face the sun. Yeah, let's do two. Why not? Efficiency. No entry. This way we won't have to um, use any space on the actual island for this purpose. Oh, and one thing I, I guess I should address, because uh, people were assuming that how I was going to do this was by grabbing these bad boys, right? And, ju and then just doing, doing this and making the mini Manticore Island biomes this way, like an enclosed space and... I, I understand why people assumed that this would be the case, because uh, this definitely makes more sense. This is a more logical way to get multiple biomes on one island. However, um, I play the game unmodded. And really, that should already tell you everything you need to know. Um, if I was playing the game with mods, I would, I would do it like this. Again, for that little bit of realism. However... Without mods, there is so little that I can do inside the aviaries. I can't put guest buildings in here. I can't do, uh, you know, this is the most severe terrain editing I can do. Like, that. that's just, that's just, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be an interesting park build. Uh, but especially the the fact that I wouldn't be able to put guest buildings in here, which means that the guest buildings would have to go outside. It, it just, no. No, we're not gonna do it like that. Realism, schmealism, am I right? <laughs> we're just gonna build it out into the open. I think that's gonna be much more fun if you are using mods and you're gonna do something like this uh, half at it. But that is not the way my mini Manticore Island will go. Okay, so now to figure out like the building styles. I'm just gonna grab... Like, what would be, uh... Oh, maybe a shelter. Shelters will be a good way for me to, like, remember what goes where. Uh, so the the tundra bit is definitely gonna be DFW. So this is just, like, a little, a little reminder for myself. And also for you guys. This is gonna be the vibe in the snow area. Um, what's gonna be the vibe over here? I feel like... I feel like this should probably be the thatched roofs. Maybe, maybe I should start with desert. Should desert be thatched roofs? Desert should either be... That's not a shelter, but... Actually, the shelter doesn't have... Uh, a th or should desert be Malta? I think desert should be Malta. Oh my god, this is already... Why is this already difficult? I think desert should be Malta. Then this is gonna be uh, the thatched roof situation, which... I'm not sure if it makes sense. Actually, I'm sure it doesn't. Um, but hey ho, here we go. And then this is gonna be Jurassic World building. So the more modern uh, approach. I could also, hold on, do bio, maybe Biosyn buildings. It's not a very extensive set, that's for sure. Um, yeah, that's a, it's a shame that Biosyn isn't really a completed building set, but that would that does look really good. I think I think it's going to be a combination. I think the Redwood side is going to be uh, the Biosyn stuff. And for hotels, 
I probably will use these. And we'll put them on, like, the beach or something. And we'll have it make sense some way, shape, or form. But I think that's how it's gonna go. Okay, so. Um, honestly, I've been recording for an hour already. Um, obviously, a lot of that's gonna be speed build. But I think I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Which is, uh, where, where are the dinosaurs? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> But this way, I can let you guys weigh in on, like, how the series is gonna go from here. So what I want you to do is go down into the comment section and tell me which of the four biomes you want me to start in, and with which dinosaur, and I will pick one comment, and we'll take it from there for the next episode. So tell me if you want snow, redwood, desert, or temperate, and tell me which dinosaur you want to be the first addition to Mini Madscore Island. This is gonna be a weekly building series, so at the end of every week, either on Thursdays or Fridays, a new episode will pop up. If you wanna make sure that you're not gonna miss a single episode, then consider subscribing to the channel, and I hope you're excited about this build. I sure am, I had a lot of fun with Mini Nublar, and I just wanted to continue that thank you so much for your patience as i've been away for a little bit and yeah i hope to see you uh, for future content on the channel thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and until next time ha so of course while i'm actually editing the video uh i find an image that has like the the ends of the island on it as well coincidentally uh i think this turned out pretty well. I'm not gonna mess with that. But on this end, like, I had to get creative filling in the blanks. But I don't have to. Uh, unfortunately, I did already delete the grid. But, you know, that's okay. It won't be perfect. But it will be close enough. So, yeah. <laughs> that was... Like, literally, I spent such a, uh, such a long time looking for, like, a good reference image for uh, Manticore Island. And I couldn't find anything better than the one that I used throughout, like, making this island. And as I'm making the video, I find a better picture. How does that... Okay, it doesn't matter. But, like, how is... <laughs> how does that work? Why is it always like that? Anyway. Little thing... Very, uh, a lot of technical terms right now, but it's kind of, it's kind of like that. It's really just there, with like a weird appendage sticking out at the end. That's more like it. Okay, let me fix my mistakes and pretend that nothing ever <laughs> happened. <laughs> there you go, now it's better. All right. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time. I promise there will be dinosaurs. <laughs>